I want to do a quick demonstration on how to recover an ArcServe UDP backup image of a Windows server to recover the entire thing into Amazon AWS. Now, the reason you would want to uh, use Arcs of UDP to back up your servers and send them off-site to Amazon AWS is obviously um, with Arcs of deduplication capability, you can actually get your data out of the building um, and stored in a safe, secure cloud with absolute minimal data transfer. Uh, we're not sending huge backup files. We're doing infinite incremental backups um, forever. Now you can see in this diagram, I've got a on-premise infrastructure. I've got some physical servers, drawn as Exchange, File Server, and SQL. And I've got some virtual machines. I have a local recovery point server, an ArcServe recovery point server, which is configured to synchronize with a recovery point server in the AWS cloud. Now, thanks to the global deduplication nature of Arcs of UDP, we're able to back up those servers very regularly and consume very little disk space in the cloud. Now, the recovery process is um, essentially going to be a recovery to a temporary staging area and then an import into Amazon EC2. I've developed a tool to make all of this very, very simple. So we'll have a look at that as we go. Now, to recover those on-prem servers to the Amazon uh, to an Amazon instance, first thing I want to do is start the, the uh, restore process on the Amazon-based recovery point server. So I'm just going to cancel out of this, this wizard because nothing in there is, is, is what we need. We need the copy recovery point option. We then choose that we want to copy a recovery point from our, our recovery point server. So I'll just type in the, uh, the name or use local host and the credentials. And then I can browse the data store and I can see all of the recovery points on that particular data store. You can see I've got a server here called customer1-awsdc um, and I'll choose that particular server to recover. I can now choose all of my recovery points from my deduplicated data store. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to choose the latest backup. Uh, choose next. And then I need to specify the encryption password for the backup, obviously, because we're going to complete a restore process and I need to choose somewhere to stage temporarily the uh, the recovery point too. So I'll just choose my G drive and a folder called recovery points. That's where everything will be copied to. The next most important thing, I need to choose no compression uh, VHD. That's the, going to be the output format for the, for the copy. Now the um, restore is going to take a little bit of time. It's about five minutes, I think, for this, this server. Uh, so I'll skip ahead until it's complete. You can now see that the uh, recovery point's complete and you can see the structure of the recovery point. You can see we've got a few folders and some VHD files. Nothing meaningful in there about which disk is C drive, which is E drive, which is F, etc. So uh, I'll use my tool to help us figure that out. So here we have the uh, Cloud Ready Solutions UDP AWS Restore tool. First thing it asks for is credentials for the Amazon account. Then we choose a region from the dropdown. So I'll choose AP Southeast 2. Choose an availability zone. We have an option at A, B, and C. And we have an option to select an existing S3 bucket, or we can type in a new name and we'll create a brand new bucket to stage the restore to. Um, we can then get a choice of our subnets or our networking subnets that are available in the region we selected. And then we choose the location of the recovery point that we extracted from the ArcServe recovery point server. We can choose an instance type for Amazon uh, and we can choose a name tag to uh, an, actually a virtual machine name to assign it against the recovered virtual machine. So once we uh, submit that task, we will be asked, do we want to create a new task or just a monitor task? So I'm going to create a second task just to recover a second server um, at the same time. Uh, so again, I'm just, just choosing a different folder where I've recovered a, uh, another image. And again, choose my instance type. This time I'll change it to a T2 large and change the, t the name tag again for the AWS instance. Then click next and next and submit again. Now this time we're going to wait until we're going to monitor the, um, the progress. 
It's actually fairly quick to import the instance into Amazon because we are doing this locally within the region and we can use an S3 endpoint. You can see now the task is completed. If I flick over to my Amazon console, I can, you can see my two, two virtual machines uh, the two with the word restore at the beginning. Um, once they uh, exist like that and they've uh, been restored, we can actually just power them on and wait for the status checks to initialize to confirm that these servers have booted healthily. There you go, you can see the two servers have been recovered and have booted healthily. So just a quick summary, with Arcs of UDP we're able to do on-premise backups to a local recovery point server and send the infinite incremental deduplicated uh, data to a cloud-based recovery point server, which of course could be used as a, as a target for cloud-based backups. Using the uh, Cloud Ready tool, we're able to easily recover those entire servers as Amazon virtual machines in a relatively short period of time.